Hello, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of uh, Solo Q to Grandmasters Rank Joust. We find ourselves on the Hachiman yet again. Um, and we're against Scylla Fafnir for now. Here are the picks and bans. We banned Sheva Charon in the second phase. We banned Ishtar Thor. I was trying to ban things that have some kind of early pressure slash will kind of screw me in the team fight. me and Vulcan, that is, slash uh, have really good poke and... Thor, Ishtar, kind of check those boxes a bit. And now they've picked a zero early game comp, all late game comp, that we can still win in the late game. And we've got a Geb too, so. In theory, we can just take this game, pull by the horns type, and uh, run away with it, starting from an early moment in the game. So we can play up for sure as we load in here, because Scylla's clear is not amazing, especially early. Xbox clear is basically nothing. Fafnir's clear is basically nothing. And we've got two gods that clear the wave really well and very safely. So, if it turns out the way it should, <laughs> we should be able to run away with this one. But we will see what happens in reality. You never know. If we make too many errors, it could end up with Geb getting served up on a silver platter early on. We get first blooded, lose three buffs, get one, and it could all go out the window. But from an even state, we are looking good going into this one. Scylla pick into Vulcan is a questionable one. Uh, kind of, but she moves pretty quick when she ults, so it's not like the worst matchup. It's not like Raijin. Like, Scylla moves faster when she ults. Versus, like, if they were to pick, like, Raijin or Baron or, you know, one of those gods that has to channel an ultimate and they slow down when they do it, like Chiron. So, still, it's not the worst, not the best. I played the matchup yesterday, actually, as the Vulcan. And it wasn't amazing, but it also I also killed her a couple times because uh, of that, yeah. <laughs> it was great! But I don't think it's, like, a terrible, terrible matchup. Okay, we'll go the classic build... Aussie Cowl. Don't think I'm taking a lot of poke here, so actually I'm going to get Freakish and only buy one potion. Because their early pressure is so awful. So, gonna get out the base. And walk on up here. Try not to take too much poke, right? Because I only have one potion. But we should be able to just passively gain pressure because we have a Vulcan. Uh, I'm down to just do this red. Yeah, I think as long as I hit this first, should be good. And then Vulcan's turret can help me here. He got it too. So this is about as good as it gets, start-wise. Start by getting three buffs, and they get none. So they're going to have to do their blue. Imagine... Oh, Scylla didn't even start it. So now I can play up, actually, since their clear is so gosh darn awful. She actually chooses to sick him right there, which is kind of unlucky for me. I gotta back out. Like a lot of poke, lost my health pot. But they took a lot of poke too. Got a lot of potions. So I'm gonna have to be careful here. Seen a lot of immunes right now. Put some poke out where I can. Got a little bit of sustain. I will not be contesting their blue. Need a little healing. I think I'm actually going to buy a second health pot. We'll get out of here. Their blue buff is still contestable. The longer they go without taking it, the more positive it is for us. What a potion, Owen. Who's the best Hachi counter? There are a number of characters that have positive matchups, but I don't know if I would say there's anyone that like outright just annihilates him. Uh, Nike would be a pretty solid one. Hard for him to play that matchup. Uh, characters with walls can be very annoying, like Kabraken. Though, most all these matchups are playable for Hachimon. You'll have to rely on your team a bit, especially in like the Nike matchup. Like, if you're 1v1ing a Nike, she's probably going to win, type of thing, but you shouldn't be in that scenario. <laughs> Thor has a good matchup. The wall, one combo, very good. Oh. Dang. That would have been a clutch kill. But I shot it the wrong way. I shot left, and she, like, 
hesitated and went right. So I should just put it right on her body. Oh, oh, oh. Missing a lot. I'm gonna back off, reset my health. While wow, the waves are still now just coming out of the base. So, don't have the Aussie yet. We are working on it, slowly but surely. But there's a reason why Hanchimon is so good. He's just such a safe character that doesn't, like, immediately lose. And he can do stuff like that. <laughs> what other hunter's doing that, man? Turnabog's doing that and dying. Might not even get the kill. On her's not reaching that. Ishtar's not reaching that. It's just, you know, too safe. Too safe and too good. Oh my god, I'm not getting any gooseberry snacks. This is awkward. We are rolling! I'm just gonna grab my uh, Aussie here, actually. Say screw it. Such a big spike for me. Nuba reaches that too. Neath. Oh shoot. Rom. Maybe. Yeah. You know, Rom might actually be reaching that. Okay, you guys are right. You know, good points. I can come join here. If he goes in, I will kill him. So. I can actually step up here, even though it's one v three. You have to be kind of careful. It's a little bit guarded. Especially with no dash. Fafnir's both cancel. Smart. Can trade a good amount here. Got a lot of healing with the saucy, right? Okay. Good disarm. But you did use your disarm, so. I can't ult. Oh, I hit the wall! No! The X ball ult goes crazy. That was a good shell. Man, that's sad. The X ball ult of the shell was a nice combo for him there. Well played. Yeah, good place from the Fafnir for sure. Got his teammate out and got out. But we do get the shell and we do get X ball ult. So we're still in a very commanding situation here. That one kill isn't going to be like a make or break. Dang, they have a sentry already? Soul gem. Soul gem rush is kind of crazy. Uh, oh. The still is just going to stand over there, huh? Okay. I'm here. Soul's got to leave. We're just playing that poke pressure game. He should be fine. She's going to go back real quick. He goes for Geb here, probably. Nope, never mind. Okay, Red's up soon. Want to grab that as quickly as possible and run. Okay, got it. Pause? Okay, okay. We've got a Rod Rush Scylla. Griffin Wing Bluestone into Oboe X Ball. Now that's creative. We got uh, Fafnir getting Thieves into Binding? Maybe. I can't even see his ping. <laughs> I'll say okay. Let me turn. Can I just shrink this? Uh, nope. I can't shrink that. Unless I. What the heck? 
Wow, that's just so big. That's the Xbox build, is it? <laughs> Pause tick. That is Bluestone Griffinwing X ball, isn't it? So I'm going to be hitting a lot harder than him for a long time, even if he gets full X ball passive and maxes his one. Uh, imagine he's coming back, right? Because he did get the team to pause and then left, so. We'll be getting uh, Demon Blade, and then I think I'm going to go Executioner this game so that I can... Let's see here. No, I don't. And then we'll be looking good. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to go no mercy mode on Scylla and grab her blue buff while her teammates DC'd. Well, that's brutal, isn't it? Good ult from her. If I let that hammer hit, I probably could have just killed that blue before uh, that came, huh? Kind of depressing. I'm very close to Demon Blade. Don't really want to go for fire until I have it. You need to play kind of careful. Okay, Demon Blade coming online. I'll stay just in case. She's just taunting us. <laughs> Alright, so I can get T1 XE. Can grab this guy. And get a sentry ward because it looks like they have a ward there. Oh, she's got a sentry ward in pocket. She wants to control that spot really bad. I respect it. Jeff's about to take zero damage for another 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. He did go uh, Genji's. So oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, he's not liking that. The 63 oboe versus the almost 300 crit. Yep, I think I know which one I'll take. We can just hit this guy. We can kill this quite quickly. She just ult. No. Oh, she's behind us. Run this way, Scylla. This is the way you want to go. Fantastic. Alright, that should secure the tower. Oh, it's an erosion. Are you gonna jump? Where are you gonna jump? That was a good shell. Or shield. How did that not hit? Oh. Huh? Unlucky. Just on the tower, though. I should have trusted the shield. Could have had my beads right now. Okay, grab the red. We get XE. I'll be taking that. And... Is this a sprint game? Sprint gang! <laughs> I love sprint gang. Now we're just waiting for fire again. So we'll be uh, AFK for the next few minutes here. Doing furious emotes and whatnot. I don't have a moat. That's just so sad. Just a quick little 3-0. Bleed the enemy dry until we win type of deal. Thinking Griffin Wing will carry him. <laughs> Pray to the slight gods. <laughs> I could get uh, Hasten Wings as my next purchase, actually. We kind of clutch. Get the timer here. Oh, that's cool. Heck you. Oh, got that guy's Aegis. Give me that wave. Kind of annoying that this guy's got a sentry on that corner, but... I also think that I don't really care that much about it. She's still lurking there? That's actually crazy. Did I hit her? I did. 
Is she just Omega though? My ult doesn't kill from that range, unfortunately. Right, we out. T1 Dom, or I can get the pace and sprint. We'll do that. Screw it, dude. I'll just get a normal ward and put it on their blue, because I just don't even care to contest the sentry ward, honestly. On my way. What the heck? Yeah, Biz looking like he might want to leave, so. Kind of chilling here. Enemies in the right to my power. Enemy ultimate down. Enemies in the right to enemy missing. At a minimum, secure his fire. Don't you eat that yellow snow. We will slay this quickly. Should be dead before she gets here. What is she doing? <laughs> yes, sir. You can't trade that. Uh, can we grab their tower before Silla spawns? The question. I want to say yes. But we're going to need to pressure him right now. I guess we don't really need to. We have a wave coming. E2 Dom doesn't really do that much for me. Be careful. On my way. So we'll be up now. Back. No, problem. no problem. Okay, I can start hitting this. Gotta get through that guy first. Wow, I got Spectral already. Okay. I'm not going to hit this guy that hard for a bit. Whole bunch of folk on her. Ouch, he got crit now too. But, you won't be critting as hard as I will. In theory. Ooh, got the Aegis. 18 seconds. Unlucky. Oh my god! That Vulcan just went crazy. No crit! GG! Well played! God Mastery 40. Fantastic. He hit four autos and I hit nine. That's just tough luck for him, isn't it? Avatar Diamond. Don't know what that is. But, oh, did I get an avatar for getting 40 masteries? Ah, oh, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. That get was so tanky to that Titan, bro. I swear he should have been getting schmeated there. What did he build? But once again, everyone played, uh... Way we needed to got a plus 15 or so it did look like it was uh, pretty heavily in our favor just matchup wise we will take that 100 percent the hachiman 7-0 would have been getting dominance next day he was going damage he was just very tanky to them because they were behind i guess and this guy had one pen item which was an item that relied on him critting and Geb is an anti-crit passive, so he was just hitting Geb for nothing. And he was going more crit, bro. Holy flip. That Geb actually was living the best life. Oh, okay, so I did 23k. What, what, what kind of hard there? That's just, that's just how I kind of expected it to go. We just have such better early presence with uh, specifically Vulcan Hachi.
Like, if you look at the backline matchup, Vulcan Hachi versus Scylla, X-Ball, just like one of those teams can clear a wave, one of those teams cannot clear a wave. And when you can get a heavy wave clear advantage, that can translate into buffs, which translates into pressure, translates into levels, and then, you know, all of that culminates into usually an advantage in fights, which turns into kills, which turns into, you know, winning the game. So that is exactly what happened there. We made uh, the proper purchases to make sure that game uh, kept snowballing in our favor. Got the Demon Blade Executioner, really good objective shred. About as good as it gets early on in the game. While also maintaining some good sustain from the Aussie. The next couple items we're going to be Deathbringer next into a Dominance, very likely. I could have gone Dominance into Deathbringer if the Fafnir was a bit more of an issue. Because he was quite tanky to me. I was hitting him for like 80 in auto or something. Without a crit. And then like 100 when I did crit. So, nothing to scoff at. But definitely something to think about in terms of how I want to... Um, deviate my build if I do want to. So, GG! Thank you guys uh, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Hachiman gameplay again. Or what is that? Third time in a row now? Don't forget to like the video and uh, subscribe for more. And I'll catch you later.